Because we did not fear Yahweh. And as for a king, what would he do for us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely in making a covenant. Blessed be the Most High. Look how this verse right here pretty much says what I had just mentioned. With the covenant of marriage, when the names are changed. So that's why it says, it says swearing falsely in making a covenant. As in when Revelation, I mean, the third commandment says that we should not lift the name of Yahweh to falsehood. Or use the name falsely. So swearing falsely in making a covenant. And when people swear, they would swear in the name of somebody who is above them. And he who is above everybody is the almighty creator Yahweh. And the name above every name, Yahushua. So the fact that he says they swear falsely shows how they use a name which is not the true name. They invoke a false entity. So they make a covenant with the wrong entity. This is verse 4. They have spoken words, swearing falsely in making a covenant. Thus judgment springs up like hemlock in the furrows of the field. Thus judgment springs up like hemlock in the furrows of the field. The last comes as an ox and comes also as the um, hemlock um, to work the land so that the land will give fruit. So the last comes to give a doctrine in the world so that the world would give the chosen few as the fruit that he will present to Yahweh as the wheat that, w that grew from the field. So the last, just like Yahushua the first came to bring mercy, favor, the truth, the last comes through the first of course to bring understanding through that wisdom in order to receive knowledge and will reveal the splendor of the Almighty as the king would be um, more flashy than the priest. So that's in a way why the esteemed honor of the Almighty will be revealed through the last. Even though obviously through the miracles that Yahushua performed, that was the honor, the splendor of the Almighty being shown clearly, but only to those with eyes to see. That's why the Pharisees claimed that everything that he was doing was being done through Beelzebub. So, in this case, the last would be a bit different, as, as I always say, what the one, the first fulfills literally, the last will fulfill spiritually. So, the last comes as a king, so that's why there are certain things that will be uh, fulfilled with the last that were not fulfilled in the same way with the first. Judgment is what the last brings, just like I said, the first brought mercy. So mercy and judgment, first and last. That's why it says, thus judgment springs up like hemlock in the furrows of the field, like destroying the land in order to get it ready to plant the seed, which is the word of Yahweh, to get fruit from it, which would be uh, the few, and even the many, which are the grapes. 